Okay, welcome to uh, Minecraft for Noobs. I'm the uh, Game and Grandpa, and what we're uh, going to do is uh, spawn a brand new land, and together we're going to uh, see what it takes to survive during the first day. So uh, we'll uh, give our new uh, world a number. We're going to go hardcore in this one. No big deal. You'll see why. Uh, just going to confirm that we're in the difficult, or I'm sorry, default uh, worlds, and uh, we're going to go ahead and create the new land that we're going to find ourselves in. Here we go. All right, we wake up, we look around. Ah, the sun's coming up. That's a good thing. That means we have about nine real minutes or one Minecraft day to get ourselves uh, into a safe environment away from the uh, the uh, night stalking zombies. And the very first and most important thing you'll do is cut wood. You need to cut uh, at least the, the equivalent of about three trees uh, as high as you can get. And you, you can get one block higher if you cut one block higher and jump up on the, the stump before you uh, cut up the tree. These trees are jungle trees, so they have additional uh, bonus wood that we'll uh, cut. And uh, cut the stump, and then gather up the, uh, the pieces and run to another one. Ah, that uh, wonderful Minecraft music will play for us. Basically it's telling you that the day is beginning. I think it also warns all the zombies to uh, look out because here comes the sun. Anyway, we'll gather wood, gather wood, and while we're gathering wood, we're looking around for a safe place to build an, a, uh, a fort for the night. And uh, I've already spied out that island off the coast, so as soon as I get enough wood, I'm going to uh, swim over there and uh, show you how to build a simple, first night, safe place to be. And you'll understand why we're cutting as much wood as we're cutting. You need wood to make a crafting table. You need a crafting table to make tools. And you need tools to gather stone so you can make a kiln. So you can use the wood to make um, torches so you can see when the sun goes down. That's pretty much the first day. The good news in the first day is that uh, there really aren't any threats on the first day, so you don't have to keep uh, worrying or hunting around for the zombies with the skeletons. That, that They all spawn on the first night, which is why we have to be in a safe enclosure before the uh, sun goes down. So we're swimming over to a place that's pretty isolated, and uh, that, that's just my military training uh, kicking in uh, to find a place that uh, it's easily defensible, and this is the place. First thing we'll do is go to E for uh, what we've got, and we'll place our blocks of wood and make uh, slabs of wood. And we use the slabs of wood four up to make a uh, a uh, crafting table, and two up to make sticks. And we, we need both sticks and a crafting table to make tools. Now I'm going to place the crafting table on the ground and open it and what you'll see is now I've got a grid of six and you need that for almost everything else that you're going to make like tools. So here I'm putting slabs across the top and sticks up and down to make a T for a pickaxe. Now I'm going to do the same thing for a, uh, a hatchet which we use for cutting more wood later on. Hatchets are more efficient than that stubby hand of yours. Now we're going to start um, excavating around this to create the frame for our uh, safe enclosure. What you can see is that dirt digs really, really well. You could dig dirt with your hand if you wanted to, but it's more efficient to do it with a uh, with an axe. Now once you see that gray stuff, that's uh, stone, and you need at least eight stone blocks in order to make a kiln, and you need a kiln in order to make charcoal. And you need charcoal so that you can make torches. And once you uh, have those and a roof over your head and a 
walls between you and the zombies, you're good. Okay, it takes eight of these in a square, and now you see the kiln. You bring it down so that you can uh, place it on the ground. There it is. Place it on the ground. Open it. And now uh, put five blocks of wood in the bottom and the rest on the top and it will begin to create charcoal. You don't want to wait around and watch it. You want to get back to work and cutting more, uh, more stones so that you can uh, create a place to uh, be safe in. So we're going to cut our way around and we're going to gather all these uh, pieces of blocks of dirt up and blocks of uh, cobblestones up so that we can start making walls and a roof. And the reason this is called Minecraft is that you spend a lot of time doing just this, mining, to get the things you need to live, to survive, and to prosper. And we're going to gather these up. Now we're going to start building uh, walls and a roof. It's noon. The sun is high overhead. That's how long it took to get to noon and we're well ahead of the game now because we have charcoal. And we're going to open the crafting table and we're going to put sticks on the bottom. Whoop, got to make some more sticks. And then we're going to uh, put sticks on the bottom and charcoal on the top and we have torches. Now that we have torches, we, we know that when we uh, put a roof over our head and close this up that we are going to be able to see our way around inside of our enclosure. If you don't, it gets really, really dark and really, really scary and it's like time never passes. So, now we're going to start building. Build ourselves a little corner and then uh, come over here and uh, build a wall. And over here, do the same. And these are uh, right clicks with the uh, blocks selected. And now what we see is, oh, we need some more, uh, some more dirt. So watch, I'm going to uh, mine a little bit more so that I have enough to complete the uh, roof and the... Uh, now I'm moving my uh, cobblestones down to where I can use them. And get me a couple of more pieces of dirt here. Okay, and uh, looking around, decide how to do my uh, next bit of construction. Cobblestones, cornerstones. Now here's a little construction tip. Uh, always leave yourself a place to jump up so you can finish upper levels like that. And the other uh, very convenient thing about this jump up is it's going to become a window. And uh, even though you can create craft glass, it's way too early for that. All we're going to do is leave the window open and then uh, fill the roof in. Leaving the window open also allows uh, us to get a little ambient light uh, while the sun is still up, but it's going down rapidly now. You can see the sky getting uh, darker. And uh, let's see, I need about two more blocks to be finished, and I'm out of blocks. So now I'm going to mine some dirt with my, oh, our first uh, torch. We've got light in here. I'm going to mine some uh, dirt to finish the door. And I'm going to do it with my hand to show you that if you if you run out of tools, you can still mine dirt with your hand. Don't be afraid. All right, now we're going to go finish filling in the door. Fill in so much that, whoop, got an extra one. We'll just knock it down with my hand. Now these two windows I have, which are one block by one block, are too small for zombies to crawl through, but they're just good enough for us to see the outside. Uh, to, so we know when the uh, 
sun is up and the sun is down which is very important because when the sun is down the zombies are out and you will not survive your first night if you're out there but because you've watched this video you're gonna know exactly how to spend your first day and not waste your time doing anything but cutting wood uh, finding a defensible location building it and you can see that in about in about nine real minutes you can have uh, what we've created here and that is a uh, a room big enough to uh, not feel claustrophobic in with plenty of light and uh, plenty of uh, sticks that we will use later. Oh, now I'm making uh, stone uh, tools because I have time to do it and it's safe. I just made a stone axe. Now I'm going to make a stone sword, your very first and very important weapon. You're going to have to have this weapon tomorrow when we go out and start hunting food and you're going to have to have it when we start going out at night hunting zombies. Oh yeah! So anyway, I've made a stone axe which will cut wood even more efficiently and we'll gather wood when we're out tomorrow. But we're pretty much set up exactly how we need to be at the end of the first day and lo and behold that sun has gone down and the zombies are coming out. And look, we're safe. We've got tools. We've got uh, walls and ceilings and uh, life is good so let's uh, look forward to tomorrow when we'll go go out gathering good to see you this is the uh, the uh, gaming grandpa signing off